For as long as anyone can remember, Colorado Springs has been a town of hardcore Republicans, God and country folks, more likely to elect deer than Democrats. That could all change this year, when Congressman Joel Hefley's name won't be on the ballot. Candidates are battling to take Heffley's place. Folks, I am a Ronald Reagan Republican. You want to talk about what it's like to be in the southwest desert of Iraq with a rifle and a rucksack? I've been there. And for the first time in a generation, the 5th Congressional District has a real battle on its hands. One autumn weekend, the Republican candidate, State Senator Doug Lamborn, dropped by the monthly meeting of the Sunrise Women's Republican Club. The people who trust in the Lord will become strong again. Lamborn's brand of conservatism goes over well here. Protecting God's greatest gift, Senator Doug Lamborn sponsored more pro-life bills than anyone in the legislature. In the Republican primary, Lamborn's allies sent out mailings accusing several of his opponents, including one former Hefley aide, of promoting the, quote, homosexual agenda. For Joel Hefley, that crossed the line. He branded Lamborn's campaign sleazy and dishonest. If we keep rewarding people who run the dirty, attacking, dishonest campaigns, then you're going to get more dirty, attacking, dishonest campaigns. The congressman has refused to endorse Lamborn, a decision that's creating quite a stir. Hefley has said that he is not supporting you, despite the fact that you're in the same party. Most Republicans are supporting me because they're good, loyal team players. Hefley's move caused a political earthquake in Colorado Springs and breathed life into the campaign of the Democratic candidate, a Gulf War vet named Jay Fawcett, who this morning was on his way to pick up a special guest. Morning, Congressman. Congressman John Murtha, who flew into campaign for the long shot, who's not so much of a long shot anymore. You have to have people in Congress that understand the military, the limitation of power, with a background of Jay Fawcett. Maybe so, but Fawcett won't endorse Murtha's call to pull out of Iraq. Doesn't it sound like you're trying to have it both ways? I like John Murtha. I agree the debate needs to occur, but I still can disagree with him on how we affect the change. I think bringing John Murtha into town is a disgraceful thing to do. And what message does that send to the terrorists? It tells the terrorists that if they're only patient, if they only wait it out, America will show itself to be weak and unreliable, and America will cut and run. Republican Doug Lamborn stands four square behind President Bush on Iraq. We need your vote. We know that you don't believe in the Murtha plan. You've made that clear. What's the Lamborn plan? I don't have my own plan. I think that the people who are there in the military, on the ground, have the best advice and the best way to take the course of the war. The campaign is fierce, charged with emotion, mirroring battles being fought across the nation this year. I'm proud to say that the Speaker of the House has said that he intends to put me on the House Armed Services Committee. Mr. Haster, this is a guy who's been protecting a pedophile for the last five months, if not the last five years. Well, you know, I've taken a lot of hits for the Democratic Party not understanding morals. There you go. Colorado Republicans are pushing back hard. Assume nothing. Because when you start assuming things, you end up with a Democrat telling you what to do. And even if Fawcett wins this November, Colorado Republicans will immediately start planning to take him down two years from now. The candidate vows not to get sucked in to the permanent campaign. If I'm able to show the constituents of this district that I'm actually able to do the part of the job that represents them, then I'll have a good edge toward re-election. But then his campaign manager jumps in. If Fawcett wins, she says, his re-election effort will immediately kick into high gear. The fundraising, she adds, will never stop. Something about horses that's very comforting. Joel Hefley never wanted to make waves, but his refusal to endorse Doug Lamborn could ultimately hand Congress itself to the Democrats. I just took a stand on principle that if I'd like to do some little thing that would um, would change the political atmosphere and it probably won't but it, what can I do I and mean, that's all I can do and at the end of the day congressman Hefley the Reagan Republican the quiet crusader the unlikeliest of rebels is at peace <laughs>